Hey guys, Dan the Man here. I've got another unboxing for you guys. That is the MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard. So this is the best motherboard money can buy in AM uh, in B450 um, chipsets, basically. This is a top of the line. I mean, you could go with MSI Tomahawk as well, but this got RGB, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a couple of other goodies that the other one doesn't have. And it's also, you can see on the box, it's says basically uh, good for overclocking windows 10 ready uh, aiming amd ryzen 3000 desktop ready 2000 ready and everything ready pretty much let's take a look at the other side of the box i hope i didn't break anything inside there so um you can i'm not sure if you can read it in there um, it says customize and set up your own color scheme with msi mystic light utility it's got like uh, audio boost it's got like um, extreme heat sinks in there and um, this thing just screams the quality it's got flash bios button that is very important to see in motherboards. Turbo M2, it's got like two M2 slots if I'm not mistaken. One of them got a heat sink, the one that's there. The other one it's there, it doesn't have it. It's got two PCIe Express uh, slots basically. One is like steel armored, so you can put even heavy duty or super heavy uh, graphics cards in there. And that's pretty much it. So let's take a look what, let's take a look at the box basically. All right, this thing is screaming uh, quality for the price. I paid about 180 ish or $200 for this thing. And I'm trying to get the whole thing in the frame. So you can see, well, it's got like RGB lights going on around there. Once you put it in the system, it's got RGB lights. Um, let me put it this way. So you can see it better probably. RGB lights all over this place. It's got a lot of fan connectors for CPU pump and a lot of other things that you're gonna be connecting to this motherboard basically. That is your heatsink for the M2 slot right there. And there is another M2 slot uh, there. You can do Crossfire or I assume you can also do SLI if you wanted to, but who does that these days? Good audio chip right there. Beefy metal or aluminum, actually aluminum hit sink or maybe copper, I'm not sure. Maybe they painted it, it's copper. Good power delivery system right there, you can see. And uh, it's got what else? Six SATA ports right there. I think you're not gonna add more than six, uh, basically, SATA ports inside this thing. 24 pin standard power connect there. As for the CPU, it's got uh, eight pin and four pin. This thing has also overclocking uh, capabilities, which is a plus for this thing. Let's look at the ports here for a moment. Okay trying to get the best uh, focus I can so you guys can see it well. Anyways, we've got all those audio in there, audio stuff in there. USB type C, I think, I believe this is uh, um, third gen 3.2, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. Same thing with the rest of them. I think these are 3.1, if I'm not mistaken. Internet, Wi-Fi, it's got antennas that will connect to this thing. HDMI, uh, DVI or display port and two USB 2.0 normal ones for whatever you want. And that's for your mouse or keyboard. I've never used this. I don't know why they put, still put it there. But it's a very beautiful motherboard. It's, it looks really nice. I like the way it looks, the hit sinks and uh, four RAM slots right there. And very decent motherboard for the price that you're paying on the back of it. Nothing else, just uh, uh, stuff, nothing really to see in there so let's put the motherboard in there let's just let's see what you get inside here the io shield it's a beautiful actually io shield um let me try to get a better focus my camera tends to keep focusing on my hand for some strange reasons 
Okay, good, here we go. I've got the focus, but it's shiny and stuff. It's black, that's what I like, once you go black. Uh, you got the Wi-Fi antennas in there, beautiful Wi-Fi antennas. It will connect to there, those two golden plate, gold plated things. Two SATA port, decent enough. I don't have more than two drives. Some MSI uh, stuff. I believe this is like some sort of RGB cable connection thingy. Haven't looked through it. DVDs, I mean, come on, like, who in the world uses this anymore? I mean, it's good to have it, it's handy, but at least include maybe a flash drive or something instead of a DVD drive. I mean, those like small pen drives and stuff. Yeah, thank you, blah, 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 for choosing us and stuff. I like this thing, this is like for cable management. You can take these stickers out and you can write, for example, uh, CPU power. You can write, for example, GPU power when you're doing cable management in the back of your case, basically. Uh, instruction manual guide is a hell of it, but it will come handy, believe me, if you don't have internet connection and you cannot get it online. There you go, there you have it. Uh, true gaming stuff, I think some advertisement, quick installation guide, and some other stuff. Case standoff notification, okay, so it says where you should put it, I guess. There's another M2, I believe, screw right here, that you can use screw it in your system. <laughs> it sounds so wrong the way I'm saying screw. So it's got a lot of goodies in here, Bluetooth uh, 5 point something or something like that. I haven't really looked through the details, so I'll leave the details in the description box. That's pretty much it, beautiful motherboard. I'll recommend you guys to buy it if you keeps going out of focus for some reason. And it's, it's really good motherboard. I mean, uh, it's gonna look good in your system if I'm not gonna drop it like Linus. It's a decent looking motherboard, you know, with a lot of goodies in there. I'm gonna put it in my system and you're gonna see how it looks in the end. See you guys in the next video.